Yeah, yeah, Glitch Garden. So, Cascader was pushing for a 100% category. And the rule set that we that we folk that we kind of centered on as a community is basically it's any percent, which removes a lot of the grinding. Um, we went and timed it out, and the the run if you weren't allowed to save and quit was multiple hours, which is why we didn't have one previously. It just wasn't fun. Um, I'm still not... I'm still not super, super into the fact that it has save and quit, but... The save and quit aspect of it is exactly what allows us to, to turn it into a, a fun run to watch. And a fun run to play. Because otherwise it's just this going back and forth on the same screen with the lucky sword, getting money drops. And that's no fun. I need one coin still. Delightful. Hey, Chris Skater, how's it going? I guess I should change my title, huh? I went and took back the world record, so... bad. I wasn't paying attention. I messed my uh, I messed my visual cue. Well, I got exactly one coin, which, to be fair, is what I asked for. This is any percent. I can just count on these dudes for money. <laughs> There's that 15 I wanted. Jeez. Oh well. I mean, it's Hundo, but Hundo is basically 15. Or 15 is basically any. Yeah, this game is a ton of fun, and it fights back against you whenever you're trying to play it fast, which that's one of my favorite types of games to speedrun. If you have to fight just a little bit with the game to make it do what you want it to do, that's a good, that's a good run. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to stop there for that drop. For some reason, when you uh, when you save and quit, that's a guaranteed drop every time. Uh, what is KSS? these days I'll get that jump. One hundred percent of the magic is useful. Thank you. Whatever that whatever that cloud dropped, I wanted it. Oh, 
Oh, Kirby Superstar. Uh, probably not, honestly. Never been super big into the Kirby games. I didn't want to go back in here. There's no reason to get that money. This is all small. Uh, actually, no. Getting money so that I don't have to revisit the swamp is, is worthwhile. So that'll actually be... Oops. That'll be part of my route, I think. Is collecting money, probably from the boss, though. Yeah, in this game, going in indoors is probably a little bit too easy. Uh, if you're playing on the Switch, uh, the, uh, the Pro Controller's up button is just a little bit too sensitive. It's a problem that apparently a lot of people have, so... This is good. Yeah. You know that thing where, where I said I was going to collect some money from the boss? Completely forgot to do that. Oh well. Hey, Lambda Coder, how's it going? Yeah, in this game, doors are the final boss in that it's much too easy to accidentally go in them. Which is why you see me jumping over them. I don't have to go through these doors. I'm allowed to save and quit. This is such a first run. Hey, I didn't get the bump there. Nice. Yeah, so since I don't do games or graphical programming at all, um, I I can make an educated guess what image UI is for. But uh, but Lambda, what are you using image UI for? Go down. Go. 
about the controls in this game. Alright. God, I don't know how to go through this this area backwards. I don't think I have enough. It's fine. I'm going to be really upset if I walk all the way back and I don't have enough. Oh, neat. The frogs can hit you on the other way. That's what I thought. Oh, well. Almost there. 500's our goal. For some reason, I thought that it might be 440. I think that not incurring the delay for uh, for screen transitions is probably wise, though. So since we can, you know, walk through and grind the entire screen, that seems better to me. I could be wrong. got more than enough boomerangs at this point, everyone. Oh, well. Whatever. Actually, I don't think that this is faster, because this incurs extra screen, screen transitions and extra walking. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do that again either. That was good. Oh my god, I just want to kill you. Please let me kill you. Come on. This way. Thank you. That's supposed to be a guarantee. That's supposed to be a guaranteed potion. Oh. This is going to be a very slightly improvable run, that's for sure. Honestly, there's nothing to be afraid of. I've got... Two potions and four times as many hearts as I usually have going through this section. Yeah, Chris Gator, I was... So, I watched your run and I thought, oh yeah, of course, that way you don't have to... to go grab the heart before you save and quit. And... 
I've already done that. I, I've, I've gone through that train of thought in the past, and I timed it, and it's slower. And I'm just not smart, is what I'm saying. That could have been a potion. I wouldn't have complained. I just... I want to be up front here. This is a terrible run. Let's at least do Green Genie Room well. nothing else, I'll take some measure of pride in the fact that Green Genie Room seems to go more smoothly for me than for most of the other runners. Okay, the grinding in 100% means that you have a lot more magic than I'm used to having. And that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm playing this on a Switch. I suppose that might have looked like a... Like an Xbox controller, but I'll show the controller more closely in a sec. Probably didn't focus. Deal with it. It's good enough. Cow, that magic, though. I don't know what to do with this. This is a Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC exclusive. Um, which is to say, no, it's it's not exclusive to the Switch at all. Yeah, because I still have to do this screen transition. That's good. This is what I wanted. This is great. Alright, so now I can go buy this other equipment. And switch back to Shogun. And carry on. There is no fastest version. Lizard Cube's been really good about that. Lizard Cube has been, like, public about not wanting to make a single best version for speedrun. You're supposed to die. Okay, that's easier than I thought it was. Jump step there. I'd like it if you stopped.
Shit, come on. There we go. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if damage boosting is going to be something that we do a lot of in this category. That's less fine. Would like to not... Ugh, terrible. Correct. Save and quit does not refill your health. I know that we need at least 30,000. It's fine. It's fine. That's the dude that I was supposed to hit. Oh, that's not good. Whatever. Let's go get the armor. Oh, that's right. That's a key. Okay, so I don't have to worry too much about the key. I just... Okay, cool. So I have a new... A new optimization already.
nice. So this is the unfortunate part of the run, but this is better than like three hours of grinding, which is what the run is otherwise. Oh, hey, you know, I should get this chest on the way. That seems better. I'm going to route that in from now on. That's worth my time. It's not worth it in any percent because we don't need the money. but. Um, I think that you're probably asking me to explain the, uh, the fish fly glitch. And I will gladly do so. So, whenever you're swimming or flying, and you change directions, the game makes you gain just a little bit of height. Which is fine, it's, it's an interesting dimension to the, uh, to the mechanics when you're, uh, when you're, you're either swimming or flying, which... You know, they're both fluid dynamic questions, right? So it's a, uh, it's fine. It's it's a cool, cool little little additional uh, bit of movement tech. There's also uh, a a separate bit of logic in the game, which on its own is totally fine, and it says that you will be swimming until you leave the water by jumping out. So, when you add leaving the water necessitating, uh, leaving the water at least vertically necessitating uh, jumping. Oh, nope, I don't need to be here anymore. I think we are one more trip. I think. But yeah, so since leaving the water requires that you jump. And you also have a bit of logic. No, I know that I need more than 8,000. Because of the mouse. I'll do one more trip after this. But yeah, so you have to jump to leave the water. You can gain height by wiggling back and forth. Uh, what this means is that by uh, sheer coincidence, uh, luckily for people who enjoy glitches in video games, uh, the fish can fly. Where is Hawkheart? I forget where Hawkheart is. Uh, Cruskader, which one is... which one are you calling Hawkheart? Yeah, that's what I thought. Crystal said is 10k. Oh, Hawkheart is, is the one that I keep on passing on my way to this. Um, I was considering fish flying to it, but that would be... S fish flying to it is actually probably still faster. The reason that fish flying to it is faster is because it would be several extra screens otherwise. Yeah, the chest on the way is, is an extra 500. But I think that that's worth the, the two uh, screen transitions. I've got to time it to prove it, but I feel like it's worth it.
Uh, numbers. No, the the two-footed, the the hopping animation is is definitely on purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna go and grab this armor real quick. I think it's going to drop us below 10k. Which proves that we need one more trip. Okay, if you're bothered by the fact that the, the bird walks like birds tend to hop along the ground, but you're not bothered by the sword and shield, I really don't know what to tell you. Um, I think that the uh, the hopping, walking animation is super cute, and it's, it's uh, faithful to the original as well, as you can see. So the reason that you transform into Hawkman um, is because of the fact that there are these additional challenge areas that the, the developers put into the game called Unknowns. And each character has an unknown. I'm going to need another trip actually, because Crystal Set, but I also need Tasmanian Sword. Twelve isn't enough. Let's go for sixteen. This is the one big problem with the run, if I'm being honest. And when it comes to routing, I think one of the biggest things that I need to do is um, is tally up the cost of every single item so that I have real targets to shoot for. But yeah, entering an unknown as anything other than the character that the unknown was designed for forcefully transforms you into that character, even if you haven't unlocked them yet. So the devs were really, really intentional about remaining faithful to the original game. And that included keeping the swim glitch in. That was a deliberate design choice on their part. And uh, in talking to the devs, I asked if they anticipated uh, the early bird being obtainable. And they said not originally, but they had realized early on that it was possible, and they decided to leave it anyway. I mean, you, you joke about the game being out for four months. Like, the original has been out for years. Oops. Thank you. 
Sneak through. Stop shooting me with fireballs underwater. Oh my god, let me let me out. Good to keep in mind, I have to buy a key next time. something in the water? Please, please. Thank you. So obviously I've never done this unknown before. Or not in that way. Obvious problems aside, I still feel pretty good about this route. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to get the the magic sword. Um, technically, you only have to. It's fine. You only have to get four to buy the sword. But yes, it, you have to get all permanent um, inventory items. So that includes the sword. I think it's garlic sword though, is it? Is it garlic?
Oh, Gaelic sword, yes. Okay, fair enough. I was confused by, by garlic, but yes, Gaelic sword. That is that is included. garlic sword. Yeah, that does sound pretty awesome. That's pretty epic. What was this one? That's right, it was a key. Why would I do that? I'm smart. I have to, to get it through my head that this that that hundred percent is a glitched run. Oh no! I'm I'm an idiot. I needed the lion there. Okay, that's actually a an interesting routing problem. Uh, no, I don't do the lion immediately after getting him. Okay, actually, that's okay, because we're going to have to come back for the sword, so I don't have to worry about it too much. That's why. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, we'll just do that. That's fine. Hey, Darker. How's it going? Why? Why would I go in here? Okay, this is a really bad route. I need to figure this out better. Probably should have just left. Yeah, you can leave really quick with the mouse. Okay, that's fine. I forgot that the mouse has, like, the one unknown that's really, really fast to leave. Well, I don't have to worry about that being a permanent fake gold now. kill all of you. Uh, Darker Six, I'm doing well. I hope that you're also doing well.
I care about this money? I don't think I care about this. I probably care about this money. I need 12 for... Um... Yeah. Like I said, this is very much a, a back of the napkin route right now. But I've already got a pretty good feel, I think, for a couple of improvements. That's fine. That's fair. Uh, no, this... I, I'm not making up the routing during the run. It's a little bit better than that, although... You could justifiably say not by much. That was... Okay. Well, now that I've done that, I think that I'm going to start doing this room the hard way. I say and immediately screw up doing the room the hard way. run. Oops. Big heart, please. Thank you. Terrible fight. Okay, and now it is time for the dragon unknown. I don't have the... I don't have the crystal, or not crystal, uh, the magic sword yet. It's fine, as long as you let me out. Thank you. This is what I expected. All right. Nope, gotta reset the room. Oh, God. 
god. It's still... Even that's not good enough. That's not good. Alright. Alright, let's go get the crystal sword. Or, not crystal, magic sword. How many charm stones do I have? I've only got three. See, now that's a bummer. Okay, so I should reroute this so that when I go back for the, the sword... Hey, Ports. Uh, I'm doing well. I don't know about SMW tonight. Um, this is terrible. Maybe we get the magic sword at the same time that we do the mouse unknown? Feels a little bit bad, but... No, I'm gonna pass. That sucks. Oh. Alright, so this is a really bad run. all fine. Through. There Go ahead and buy the thing. Then it'll be time for Lion Unknown. Wait, no! I need to go get Lion Heart still as well. Should have done that on the way. Oh well. These are good things to remember. Okay, he's like really, really slow underwater. Yeah, Grim. Um, Monster World is happening. We're kind of beholden oops, to uh, to off schedule. So as soon as the time is good for him, shoot, I don't remember where it is. I think I might be too early. Yeah, I'm definitely too early. That's right, I was supposed to drop over here. It's fine. This is the first run. Yeah, it's between these two. Yes. 
sacred memory. Uh, yeah, Monster World will be a, uh, a blind race. I've got the, the translated ROM. That's right, I remember how much I hated this. For now, mouse in a sec. Do I have enough? I might not have enough. I might have I might need more money. It's fine. Yo, okay. I'm missing a shield. What shield am I missing? Shit. Master shield. I don't know what shield I'm missing. The skater, help me. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot and I need to know what shield I'm missing urgently. Hades doesn't have a shield. What special shield is it? Shoot. Heaven Shield! I need the Heaven Shield. More money. really, really bad. Yeah, exactly, Rim. Um, originally, we thought that it wasn't going to be a fun category because of the grinding. And save and quit still feels kind of bad, but... I mean, everybody who's in chat right now, you're going to be the best people to tell us. Um, is this a fun, a fun category to watch? All right. We are, we are ready for the end game. okay to watch cool i feel absolutely resolute that this is going to be a uh, sub one hour run not this specific run but 
once we fix the hiccups in the in the routing. Cause we're at what, 103 right now? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this category sub hour easy. Sub 50? Uh, maybe. Oh, come on. There we go. This run had a ton of spaghetti, that's for sure. Oh, the armor drop didn't make up for most of the spaghetti though. This was not a good run, by any stretch of the imagination. Honestly, Hades drop is something that I feel is um, going to become more and more important for uh, for hard runs. Oh, come on! Go. Downward! Come on! What a jerk. So I don't know where save and quit is safe at this point. So I'm going to do something that I feel is very risky. Um, as soon as I see the human uh, form, I'm going to save and quit out. And that might force us to redo this this whole thing. Please, 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 please be good enough. Yo, that's good enough. Okay. Good jump. Nope. That is the single most annoying jump in this game. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, dude. One more nice zip. There we go. Sword, pass. Go in the secret door, maybe? Are the doors not enabled? They are. Okay. That almost was bad. There we go. What a jerk. First run and only like halfway routed, this feels pretty okay. Yeah, Vampire to his Lion feels better. Um, I was in a habit of doing Vampire as human in the. Um, what's it called? Yeah, not sub 10. Chris Gator, honestly, your your run, I think, probably should have beaten this. This was a pretty bad run. Uh, the only difference is that I was I, I routed in some unknowns early, but I feel like overall the run that that you had, if um, if you had routed it differently, and of course you did the uh, the final part that was necessary, uh, the the final kill, I think that you would have won. This should have this should have been yours. Um, Yeah, you also didn't use Fishfly. Um, yeah, Bode, I need to... Well, what time is it? Uh, I think that Arcade Pit is on. And if, if Arcade Pit is going on, which I think it is, I'm going to go ahead and host them. And when I come back, it'll probably be doing... Monster World 4 Blind. Oh, hey, Goaty. Hey, I was watching you earlier uh, play through the original. Yeah, uh, Chris Gator, as long as you're using a controller, it's not too bad. Uh, my strat is I rest it on my leg like so. I press right with the uh, with the analog stick and then I mash left with uh, my right hand so it's not too bad um, left always overrides right uh, in terms of inputs so you can just hold right and mash left and you'll do fish fly no problem it takes a while to get used to just in terms of the timing but it's not too bad but yeah so I'm gonna let these credits play out um, and then I'm gonna host arcade pit which, if you've never seen it, it's a super cool, like, game show type thing based around retro video games. Uh, Author Blues and Sky Bills are playing against Proton John and Ty Tuesday right now. All fantastic streamers. And then after that, we're going to be back with either a blind race between me and Auth and potentially other people of Monster World 4, uh, since I've got the translated Genesis ROM. Or it'll be more, more world record attempts than this. Arcade Pit, I would expect to, to end around 45 minutes from now. Something like that. 
Oh, interesting. Uh, do you find that using the fish fly mechanics to uh, to fly as Hawk to be faster? That's an interesting concept that I've never even toyed with. I just assumed that it would be slow because it's slow as the fish. Although to be fair, I do use that mechanic in the fish un or the the hawk unknown to uh, to get through those narrow spots. Okay, so it's not that it's faster, you just use it specifically to gain less height. That makes sense. That's, like I said, I use that in the unknown, but I haven't found anywhere else that that's particularly useful. But that might just be a, a difference in our strats. Just fight stabilization. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, so everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you all over to Arcade Pit, which is a super fun show that you should familiarize yourself with. And then I'm gonna be back tonight with more speedruns. Um, either a blind race or uh, or more of this. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, hopefully I will see you all in an hour or so.